Hey guys, Swapalink here today and welcome back to Software Inc. Last episode we just released our game station, EVEX Scene 9 and Photo Studio 3. I think we did all those last time. Right now all my teams are doing nothing, we got the night teams in, nothing is happening because we're not developing anything. But I think it's time that we start developing some games for game station. Also, I mean we might as well develop EVAXine X. That's right, not 10. X. <laughs> yeah. Now, it looks like we had most of this stuff in here before, so we're just going to do it again. Uh, I wonder if it, can we do networking now? It's 99. It kind of depends if there's an operating system that we can even put it on. Because herein lies the problem. It's like, we've selected networking, which means we can put it on these two, which are quite popular, and this one down here, which has no one on it. But it limits all the others that don't have networking. So I wonder if we should go to these, or... What's our reach? 1.4 million? You know what? Let's do it. I'm going to select everything. Oh wait, virus database. Does that mean I need a server? Yeah, I do need a server. Okay, before I do, let me pause. So where did I put my- <laughs> Oh, is this my- those are my servers there. What I'll do, I'm going to lease this room here. Can we make it daytime? There we go. Lease this room here, and then this is going to become a sweet server room. So we're going to get a row of them. Flip them around, get another row of them, flip them around. I mean, I definitely don't think we need this many servers, but <laughs> I'm going to do it anyway. Oh, and actually, oh, actually, yeah, I feel like I forgot. I think this was a common because with these sprinklers, I don't. Well, first of all, there's definitely none in this room and we have a whole bunch of servers. So I'm going to get a bunch of sprinklers in here. But I think there's another comment saying I forgot it in like the other uh, warehouse too where we have servers because all that stuff can catch fire. And when that is a good point, we probably should sort that out. There we go. Plenty of lights. 400 lux. Nice and bright in the server room. Yeah. Now while we're at it, I guess we may as well get a fire alarm in here as well. And in case someone's coming up the stairs to steal my servers, I'll get a couple of security cameras. Oh, by the way, th so these can't be placed outside because I think I, there was a comment about that. Um, they have to be inside for some reason. I, I mean, in reality, it would make sense. Yes, to have a security camera on the outside before someone breaks in, but we can't do that. Anyway, so all these servers in this room, we're going to do this. We're going to connect. So that's all now one server. I don't think any of these rooms have sprinklers. I don't know if this stuff can catch on fire, but it's probably a good practice to maybe just have sprinklers anyway. We've been thankful enough not to experience a fire in this series yet, so that is great, but I think I might just preemptively prepare. And I'll put one over here with these guys, and I would- oh, I- oh, these rooms already come with fire- oh, they already come with them! Oh, okay, so I don't need to worry about these then. Um, that's good. So all these rooms already come pre-installed with that, but they don't have sprinklers, because you gotta do that yourself. Uh, I will also put some security cameras around these doors of the warehouse. Uh, unfortunately I can't have it facing sideways, but that'll do. I'll do it by the stairs, and by these ones as well, just in case they sort of come in that way. There was a suggestion to add, like, security desks right by these doors, so we could stop people coming in, but... Meh. <laughs> nah, it'll be fine, <laughs> whatever. All right, so we've got a bunch of servers in there. Now the thing is, if this server goes down, that could be a problem, but I think we'll be okay. Let's have a look. 140 gigabits, okay. So this is gonna be our live server. I'm just gonna call it that, sure. So that's there. So now, make a SQL to eVaccine 9, and we're just gonna select everything once more. We're not gonna do data mining, because first of all, we don't even have someone that can do it. Oh wait, no, we can't. Unless, hang on. I don't know, it does actually say we are missing something. I thought that's what it says. We could sell users' data, which would be pretty sweet, but we can get caught, so let's not do that. <laughs> All right, so 2D Editor is going to be Photo Studio 3. Beautiful. And it's going to be on these two operating systems, because they're the only two current computer ones that have... I mean, this one does too, but it sucks, so we're not going to worry about that. And our server will be live. The source control management will be SCM eVaccine X. Surely we can charge more than $65 for it. We charged 70 for the last one. 67, 60... Hmm. I reckon we could push it up to 80 bucks. Because, I mean, we're gonna adding a whole new feature to it. How can we not charge more for it? Should we do a, a framework? We probably should. EVAC 3. So this is gonna be EVAC X. We're just gonna call it X. We're not gonna go 4, so it's gonna be X now. All right, so that's that. Uh, I guess we don't really need to focus marketing because it's all just the same. Right, so this is gonna be, yeah, I guess, well, actually, I wonder if we should not use the core team. Oh no, I guess we should, because I want to develop games for the game station, but we'll use the 2D editors for that, because they, they make the most sense, I think. So yeah, the core and core night will do this. It's very complex, I know, but it's gonna be fantastic. So I'll just unpause that. So they are actually assigned this time around. Oh yeah, there was other comments about the employee benefits. 
Um, yeah, so the way this works, all this stuff is enabled, as you can see, is saved. What happens is if you change something, let's say I give them a Christmas bonus of 100%, so they get basically two times their, their salary in December, I click tick. So this here says reset company wide. Because if I just apply now without ticking anything, nothing will save. Because uh, what you can do is you can actually do it per employee. So I can go like Agnes Hill and I can be like change benefits. Uh, and then I, this is where I could apply it for one person. And then over here, you see this overrides the company one. So that you sort of have to confirm it. It's kind of weird, but it is safe. So uh, again, so you can see the, the I didn't save the Christmas bonus here, but if I go like this, go here and I click apply, you can see it's now applied and it will stay like that. So that is, it's all good, don't worry. I know I know there's a few comments about that that you were worried about. It's okay, that is saved. Minimum, we haven't done a minimum raise or anything. Oh, and also there was a comment about um, changing some of our vacation months. I don't really care about that, it's fine. <laughs> we could do. I think what we'll do, we'll keep, we'll stay in this office for a little bit longer. And then once we eventually move and build our own office, we might sort of re revise some of this stuff. Now, as for games, I want to see what games have been recently released on. Actually, no, I don't care about that. I want to see what games are coming out onto the market because I want to do something different. So realistically, let's give ourselves, we're November. Let's, I guess about a year. So we've got an RPG, a sports game. An RTS, an FPS, man, I think this is probably everything. What, what, so what games can we make? There was no adventure game coming out. Let's do an adventure game. We're gonna make a game called Tiny Tim. <laughs> this, this is gonna be our adventure game. All right, so what are we gonna do? Customizable character. Well, actually, I, well, how, I, I want Tiny Tim to be the character, but I guess you could change his hat, you know? Dialogue trees, branching, branching story. 3D graphics for sure. Even though this is the 2D team, I might need to hire more people. Post-processing, advanced HUD, sure. Shadows, facial animation. Well, it's 1999. We could probably get away with not doing that. VR. I mean, I guess we could be we could be developing for the virtual boy at this point. Cutscenes, sure. Procedure. We don't need. Pre let's let's start off like somewhat realistically for you know 1999. Like we could probably do some of this stuff. Maybe not post-processing as much, but we'll do it anyway. Whatever. Open world, we won't do. We will do mod support though. I think that's pretty cool. Let's get some recorded dialogue. No multiplayer yet. This is the first Tiny Tim adventure game. Eight hundred and eight. We got eighty dollars. And then when we make Tiny Tim two, but oh, we don't have a three D editor. Oh no, the tech level of these. Oh, actually, that's not that bad because three D graphics is ninety five anyway. So these are actually not that bad at all. Um, this one is the most popular. So why don't we just use that one? It'll probably be fine. And then we should probably make an audio tool too. Ah, we'll just use this one now. We don't, we don't need to worry about making all that stuff ourselves right now. All right, so the most popular operating systems are these two computer ones. And there's also this console. Oh wait, I'm trying to develop it for my console. Where is my console? Ga game station, there it is. <laughs> that, that's right, that's what I'm doing. Hang on. What we'll do, we'll release exclusively on game station to start and then we'll port it to other operating systems. That's what we'll do. We only have a consumer reach of 283,000 because that's the, that's the amount of people that are currently using GameStation. But it will be fine, I swear. Okay, so this is going to be on 2D Editor and 2D Editor Night. So these this team is going to be making it. Perfect. And they can all do that. This is going to take me two years. Okay, this is actually... No, you know what? You know what? Maybe we shouldn't take two years to do it. Let's remove stuff. Let's get rid of Advanced HUD. Maybe recorded dialogue. Cutscenes? No. Shadows? No. Mod support? No. Brent, man, none of this really reduces the time. All right, two years it is. <laughs> we'll try. I mean, it might not be two years because that might just be a general estimation, but we'll see. So we're developing eVaccine X, Tiny Tim. I feel like we need more developers. We need another team because I would probably, I probably want another team to keep working on. Well, let, maybe we should get a games team. So I'm gonna go lease this office here, because uh, maybe we should get a games team that will do the games and then we can get the 2D editor team making new editors or making like, maybe they could be the tool team. So they'll make like a 3D editor as well, like, for example, and all that kind of stuff. So let's clone this all up into this room. And uh, we got a nice break room down there. I'm wondering maybe what I might do as well is actually, can I, I'm gonna grab this room. Can I, um? Uh, you can't change the actual floor style, like the, the, you can't change the floor into like tiles or something. I'm gonna paint it white and the walls are gonna be like that. Beautiful. Because what I want to do, I, I actually want to set up a canteen. Now this room up here shouldn't have this person in it. Because <laughs> what I want to do is I want to make a new, well let's make a new team so then we can assign that room. So this is gonna be game devs. They can be, they can be this sort of salmon kind of color. Sure. Anyway, so I'll set these guys up. They start at, yeah, 9 a.m. Go to 6 p.m. 
They, they obviously don't exist yet, but I'm just gonna assign this room so nobody else uses it. So I'm gonna make this a canteen is actually the idea here. And we're gonna hire some chefs and get a sweet kitchen up and running. So we're gonna get, I guess let's get three chefs maybe. Let's get three fridges. Uh, I guess I don't need a fire alarm because, oh, wait, maybe this room doesn't have one. Okay, wait, hang on. So these rooms don't have fire alarms, but I think I put them in myself, right? Yeah, there's one there. Oh no, they do, it's over there. Damn it. All right, so I don't need to worry about that, but I do need to worry about sprinklers. So I'll put one right there. Um, now, I have been watching a lot of Conflict Nerds uh, Software Inc. series, and it is really good. So if you like Software Inc., I would suggest going to check out Conflict Nerd. His current series is really good. And when he's building like a canteen uh, in like one of these offices, he tends to like block it off with these sort of cubicle walls. So it's almost like another room, because at this point, we can't access build mode to do the walls, but we can use these little cubicle walls. So we can sort of like wall off a little kitchen zone, which I actually really like that idea. So I want to do that. And then we want a nice serving table. I actually don't know how much we need. You know what? I might move this one here. I'm going to move this guy there because then I can duplicate this, get two serving tables and then you get... Oh wait, they place it on the table itself. Oh, okay. So the serving table replaces the tray. Okay, right, right, right. That makes sense. So then they'll serve food onto these. Then we need some beautiful canteen tables. Can I use these? Oh, why can't I use these indoors? I like those. And then we'll get canteen tables. Should we get like a black table or is that too imposing? So I'm gonna get like this and then little chairs like this. If you haven't seen canteens in this game yet, oh, you're in for a treat, they're beautiful. So can I get one? If I go here and then there, that'll be fine, right? Then maybe if we just put this one like sideways. Yeah, we'll get another one there. That'll be right. I mean, we could definitely fit in more. Like if I put tables along the wall, you can also put these closer together, I think. But we'll just go like this. It's not very inspiring in here right now. Maybe each of the table. Oh, these rugs don't fit under the table. Oh, actually, no, I should be able to do it. Hang on. If I go, if I align the grid to maybe that chair, let's see. No, see, I need to align the grid in a way that I can get this rug in the middle. What if I align it here and then I move it? Oh, nearly. I just need to slide the grid over a little bit. Yeah, there we go. Now it's like fitting in. <laughs> I was gonna do a different pattern on every rug. Is this, is this a bad idea? I don't know. Beautiful, look at that. Look at all those rugs in here now. Now I can just reset the grid with that button and I can get a little plant. Oh, you know, lights would probably be nice in this room too, hey. There you go, 400 lux. Maybe like a TV there, you know, get all the latest news. Uh, I guess I could do like the little coffee machines and stuff in here as well. Oh, I just wanted the table actually. Because if we go like along here, do they need access to the TV? I don't know. Oh, this is getting a little close to that. Maybe get rid of that one. Because then, yeah, we could do some espresso machines maybe just along here. Right, so now we've got this canteen here. We're gonna need to hire some uh, cooks. So let's go, they'll come in at 10 a.m. And we'll go one, two, three. So that will be one for each of the stoves. And then they finish at 2 p.m. And then at 3 p.m. Oh, no, 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 3 p.m. 3 p.m., these guys come in, and then I'll get another three, because, I mean, we have people working overnight, so we might as well get another set coming in at 8 p.m. till 12 a.m. Wait, so when when are the night shifts working? They work from 7 to 4, 8 till 12. Maybe we should have them actually come in a little bit late. Let's go 10 p.m. So we will have a bit of a bigger gap, but this sort of covers more of that mid-range. All right, so now that we've got this canteen, there are people actually bringing their food in here to eat, which is interesting. Oh, wait, are they getting their food from here and then walking up to here? I don't know. You know what? I might move these out of here. We can get rid of those coffee machines. We'll keep the mini fridges here because people might still want these, although there's no food in there. Yeah, they, I think they're using the ones in their offices, which makes more sense. Um, and then, so this canteen, actually, I just realized I should probably get some vending machines too. Maybe get a couple over here. And then I'll also get some water coolers maybe because we don't have any in this room which we probably should. So we'll get a couple of those as well. So that should uh, get everything they need sorted in there. So we should actually see hopefully some chefs come in tonight at 10 p.m. maybe. No, I guess maybe it'll be next month. They'll come in next month. All right, looks like development is going pretty well. I'll accept everyone's r raised requests. Now I'm gonna hire a new leader because we might as well get the game dev team up and running so then we can actually Start working on that. Now I want the highest skilled with good compatibility with my existing team members, Bernie Chapman. Welcome to the game dev team. You're gonna be the leader of that. And you actually have a, I should probably check what we actually need for game dev. I feel like it's a little bit of everything, like 2D, 3D, multiplayer, which is networking. But let's just say for sake of 
figuring out who we need to hire, I'm just gonna select all of this stuff so that I can go to my little split here and see who we need. Artists wise, we need about five. So let's go to manage teams. Whoops, manage teams. HR management, 150,000, handle wages and all that best roles. Actually, no, don't change. Educate five at a time. Right, so if I just move this window down a little bit, I can see it. Okay, so, oh, I actually I need the numbers too. So we need 12 designers, 18 programmers. So, well, hang, these rooms hold how many people again? 20, so let's go. Well, we definitely need five artists. So I'm gonna make sure we get those five. And we're gonna need to split the rest between designers and programmers. Obviously there'll need to be some overlap in the team. Uh, and also we're not doing a game like this anyway. So that four years is probably not accurate for this particular team anyway. Okay, maybe eight program, no, not programmers, eight designers is what I wanted to say. Eight designers and programmers, I guess, oh wait, then, then that'd be seven. Okay, let's actually reduce that a bit. <laughs> let's go six and then nine. So that'll be our 20, actually that'll be 21, cause, okay, eight, cause we have the leader as well. Right, so specializations. I kind of wish you could set numbers of how many of each of these, cause you can't really specify exactly like, for, like I say I want five artists, but they could be in any of these categories I select. So we definitely need audio, we definitely need system, we need 2D, we need 3D, and we need network. Yeah. So basically everything besides hardware and development. And we're gonna want high skilled employees. Now obviously I have not uh, actually, added my guy as the leader yet, so I'm gonna do that. Actually, what? I didn't actually check what you could do. Oh, you do multitasking. Hmm, I wonder if I should have maybe got one that can hold meetings so we get a meeting room. But this'll do, this'll do. So you'll be my leader. I'm just waiting for you to, there you go. What I was actually gonna do, wait, did I, did I actually calculate? Oh no, I, I calculated that right. Okay, good. So all you guys have now been hired, which is nice. Let's have a look at development skills. We've got an artist there, a designer, programmers. Great, so those guys are in. And now we wanna make game devs night because we can just go straight on the night team bandwagon. So they arrive at 7 p.m., leave at 4 a.m. and we'll hire a new lead. And I'll make sure they're compatible with the existing team, just so there's like compatibility across the teams, you know. So this one can actually hold meetings, which is nice. But you are gonna actually be in the Game Devs Night team. Thomas, no, Thomas, Thurman Huff, welcome. And I guess I should probably set the color as well, which we've just been going a little bit darker, right, for the night teams. <laughs> All right, so I guess we'll do the exact same thing. Right, so they are set up exactly the same way as game devs during the day. And then all we're gonna do is set you, no, don't change team, no, no, no. <laughs> change your role to be the leader and that should fill out in the same way. Great, so now what we can do is assign uh, the 2D editor, we'll take the 2D editor team off that and assign the game devs instead to that project. And now we can get the 2D editor team to either make another 2D editor, which I mean, I guess is probably a good idea, or we could leave that for a bit and maybe try making a 3D editor. I don't know if we really have the skill to do it. Let's see, let's select what we want and see if we have the skill to do it. So let's go, oh wow, okay. We wanna do mesh sub, well, hang on. Let me just select everything and see what it's gonna take. <laughs> I was like, system GPU rendering a motion cap three years. Okay, well. <laughs> okay, okay, product name. So what do we call this? We call that photo studio. This can be object studio. We're really, really hot on the names here. It's gonna be $110 if we were gonna spend three years on this, which I don't know that I wanna spend three years on anything. It can only be on these operating systems. I'll get rid of that one maybe. And let's say it would be on the 2D editor team, which I don't even know if they're skilled enough for this. Let's see. They can't do bit mining, but that's fine. All right, now let's scale this back a little bit because this might be a little bit too much. Maybe get rid of liquid simulation and hair simulation because it's, I mean, it's 1999. Let's maybe <laughs> dial it back a little bit. Procedural objects, let's get rid of that. We're down to two years, that's not bad. Maybe get rid of motion capture. Let's try this. And I think I'm just gonna go for it and just develop this 3D editor. We're not gonna do a uh, framework. Let's just develop that. Yeah, yeah, we'll develop it. Let's just see what happens. Now, meanwhile, we've not really been looking at these numbers here, but we are doing pretty good uh, in sales of GameStation, which is our console, which I guess, are we still producing that? Well, there's none sitting there. I think we probably have enough in stock. Let's have a look. So release. Game Station. We have sold 400,000 of them. We have 150,000 in stock, which is great. Photo Studio 3 is doing well. 
I mean, all of these things have actually made, you know, a good profit. 81 million for eVaccine 9, so there you go. <laughs> it's still making profit. So we've got three projects on the go. I actually, oh no, Christina Kim has died! Reason dead. <laughs> okay, well I thought it would say how. Like a car crash or... She got a payout of 200,000 though, sweet. Anyway, I, <laughs> I got distracted. I, was, I wanted to, oh look at all this food that we have in here now. I think that's the chef's cooking. No one's using it though because... Oh, here we go. Now there's a few people having it. Yeah! Look at this! This is great. This whole place is alive. I mean, I do think we probably have a little... Like, they can't even serve this food. I think we maybe have too many chefs. And sure, except everyone's raises. Um, well, in that case, I might... Even though there are three cookers in each of them, I'll take one cook off of each time slot instead of doing less time slots. Oh, I think I might need to unpause to actually dismiss that person. Um, so we'll have two cooks for each time period instead of three, which but I think that person, yeah, they were on site. So now we have six cooks overall. Just because I want food available at all periods, but I think, uh, this might be a health hazard. I don't know if you guys want to remove this from here or, or what. Now, Game Station, how are you going? Oh, look at all this. We've manufactured more of them. It's beautiful, isn't it? It's a beautiful, beautiful site. Oh, it's also January 2000. You know what? We might have new computers. So if I were to select... Well, let me select the building and then if I go... How do I do this again? I go like this and I go... Select furniture types in selected rooms. Then I go replace modern computer. Which is, if we have a look here compared to this one... It kind of... It's the same power, but it's less noisy and lasts longer. So... Oh, beautiful. Look at that. Got the modern computers throughout the building now. We have teams working through the night. We're still making decent amounts of money on these three products we got out. We have $92 million in cash. I might just dump a little bit more into the rainy day fund, because why not? Keep $20 million on hand, that'll be fine. Uh, speaking of which, how are we doing with that? We're making $244,000 per month on that alone, which is nowhere near enough to cover our HR, uh, mind you. <laughs> Although we had a huge spike here. What was that from? Benefits. Oh, because it was December, man. We pay out a lot of money in benefits in December. <laughs> it's like a double the salary. I guess that makes sense. That's what I said it as, right? Everyone gets a hundred percent bonus. Oh, there's some missing um, cubicles here. I was like, why is everyone getting so upset in this room? Oh, you know what it is? I um, I actually moved these because I, I I got rid of them for a thumbnail because <laughs> it looked better having it open so you could see everyone there. And I forgot to put it back. No wonder everyone's getting upset in this little zone. All right, that's better. I think that I think that was the only space that I had done that. All right, so are we actually getting through all this food, or we still have a little? Can can you guys like, clean the food off these tables? Because I I feel I feel like that should not be left out. Hmm. Oh, we still have too much. <laughs> oh well, whatever. Uh, oh, Evaxa Nine has just dipped out of existence. I wonder. We've sold. We sold 1.8 million units. Dang, is that to everyone? Because look, it just fell off a cliff. 1.9 million consumer reach. So we didn't actually sell to everyone, but nearly everyone. I wonder if maybe another antivirus. Yeah, here we go. Anti Trojan Watch Ender Five just released. So well, actually, it was a few months ago. Hmm. I don't know, maybe we should try porting this. Is that the problem? It needs to be on another operating system? We could put it on there, we might sell more. It might be a waste of money porting it. Let's try it though. Oops, I might as well assign. I'm gonna assign all the teams to that. And you know what? The service team. Everyone, let's just, I don't know how this would even logistically work, having like a hundred people porting one program. I guess everyone gets like two lines of code to port. Okay, you do those two, I'll do this. This can't go wrong. No way that this can fail. Yeah, Evax A9 is not selling at all. And I think we, I'm sure we still have it in stock, right? Yeah, 100,000 units still in stock. So actually on that note, we could probably stop printing it. And Photo Studio 3, is that still selling? Yeah, it is. Okay, so that is still selling. Uh, 73,000 in stock. You know what, I might reduce the number. 25,000, because I feel like we're not going to sell that much in a month that we need to print more than 25,000. All right, so that port job is done. So tomorrow we'll see if that makes any difference to Evaxine 9 or not. It may well not make a single lick of difference. <laughs> I kind of also, we should probably get an operating system team so we can work on new operating systems. I'm thinking maybe I should get another room. And then, oh, I didn't, I also didn't color this room because this room is, who is this for again? Hang on, if I press that. Game devs. Yeah, so I should probably do my little color coding, right? Because it's this color here. And then I set the wall to that color. And then I guess, did I do all the chairs? There you go. Beautiful. That's the game dev. So this room 
I'm just gonna copy from this room just to make sure we have the correct layout. Hey, <laughs> what are you doing in there? All right, and then we're gonna go, uh, I guess, well, operating system team is probably too general because we probably want to do a computer operating system too. And we're gonna be doing console. So we're gonna say console OS is what this team will be. And I guess we'll get another leader. We need all these, all these leaders. You look good because you got compatibility with my existing team. Not that that really matters, but we'll get you anyway. Welcome, and then we're gonna go HR management. Well, actually, hang on. What do we need to do to make another game station? If we were to make a sequel, because this will give me an idea of what we had in it, so I can know what I need to check. So we had at least this is what we had, which it's kind of, yeah, a little bit of everyone. And we don't need any artists at all. Uh, I'm just gonna double check. I'm, I'm sure that's the case. Although that doesn't really make sense. I feel like there should be some artists that actually are the ones designing the physical look of the console, you know? Oh, there you go. One artist appears at some point for what? What do they appear for? Is it 3D rendering? No. Network? No. Custom themes? Themes? Widgets. So as soon as you put widgets on, you need one artist. Which I feel like we could probably get away not having an artist, so let's not worry about that. <laughs> okay, but let's say I select all this stuff except for these level three things. Let's just ignore those. We need mostly programmers, some designers, and one artist. But I'm going to ignore the artist because I feel like we could probably get away with not having that. Uh, so let's go to the same sort of monthly salary thing, or budget rather. And you can handle everything. So programmers, we need mostly programmers. Let's go 15 maybe, and then we go four designers. Because that will be 19. That's not a lot of designers. Maybe we should get a few more. Let's go six and go down to short. That, that'll probably be fine, right? <laughs> we won't do any artists. We'll just bank on the fact that hopefully we'll be okay. And then <laughs> do we need someone to do hardware? Yeah, we do need a hardware person too. So we basically need all of these for this team. Six specializations, high quality. And then we just hope that that team will actually be good. And then we just go, you are going to be my leader, uh, Kristen Jenkins. You should hire everyone on that team for me. And this will be for the console OS team. Oh, and then I should set up the hours as well, which is 9 a.m. to 6 p.m. It's gonna be this sort of orangey color there, sure. How many, so how many employees do we have now? We got, we got quite a few employees. I should, I guess, get the console OS night team. I mean, we're just doing night teams all over the place now. I think it's a, I think it's a pretty good idea to get more development going all of the time. I mean, the other thing we could do is have the night team maybe have more of a certain specialization instead of doing the exact same thing. I did think about this before, but then I was like, I don't know if that makes it too complicated. Like for example, if we had night team of design, like more designers or less programmers, but during the day we have more programs, less designers, for example. But I was like, I don't know if that just overly complicates stuff and maybe I should just not worry about that. In that sense, I'm not gonna worry about it. <laughs> I'm just gonna hope for the best. All right, let's get a new lead. Uh, we want them compatible with my console OS team, why not? And then I'll actually hire you for the night team. So you're in. And then employees, you will be my leader. Great. So they will hire 20 people. There they are. And oh, you know what? That's what I forgot to do in this room. Game dev night. Oh no, I forgot. I forgot. You guys probably noticed. Uh, console OS night. Whoops, no, don't pass through. And those, uh, those ones are all assigned, that's good. So and then everyone can use the canteen and we've got the console OS team. Now we will make another game station, even though we're still de designing Tiny Tim the game. So we're gonna at least select everything that we had, which is good. But then I think we should add some more stuff. Let's have a look. Let's add unified search, maybe? That seems like a, do we need a unified search? We don't need that. System recovery, surround sound, speech recognition. I mean, all this stuff is kind of lame. <laughs> Let's do networking. I feel like that's probably a good thing. Auto update maybe? Yeah, that's a good idea. Cloud backup. Maybe not cloud backup, it's only 2000. App store. I don't know if we need an app store right now. Let's, let's not get ahead of ourselves. Let's maybe do themes and notifications. And then we can add more stuff in the next one. So 299, how much did I charge for the first one? I feel like I jacked it. Oh no, it was just 300. I thought I jacked up the price more than that. 300, and then the server will be live. The source control management will be that one. Manufacturing might actually be different than what we already have. So we'll have to double check this. Although it says we have all of those. So it might be exactly the same. Because if we add other stuff, like potentially, yeah, see vibration actually increases what we need to do. But right now I think we're good. So I think when we change the hardware stuff here, that's when this changes. So right now we don't need to worry about that, which is good. Whoops, no, no, I didn't want to do that. Hang on, how do I get out of this? Oh, close. <laughs> so game station two, next, uh, auto balance short, sure, puts it there, why not? This is gonna be my console OS team. It'll take approximately two years to develop this, but let's, uh, let's get them on it. So we're developing four things right now. 
And AVAX 89 is still not making money, so I'm just gonna end marketing on that. That that that's dead. That's dead in the water. It's got 150,000 users still. This has still got two, 22,000. Although everything's fixed and there's no more bugs, so I'm gonna cancel the support on that. And this is all fixed and verified too, but we'll keep that going for a little bit longer. Oh, you know what I didn't do? I did not set the night team to actually come in at night time. <laughs> that that would be a problem. So 7 p.m. to 4 a.m. Okay, you know what I'm gonna do? I am gonna change the months that um, the night teams go on holiday. So like these guys, so the console OS team goes on holiday in those two months, July and August, and the night team will go September to October. So it means we always have at least half the team around in theory, or maybe we should just set it to one month. So they definitely all leave in July. And these guys definitely all leave in August. Also, I know last episode, I totally forgot that, um, I think July was a month in night. Cause I was like, we were in June. And I think something was releasing in August. And I was just like, yeah, that's next month. My bad. <laughs> Anyway, I think this might actually be, I'm going to do this. I like this idea. So all the daytime teams will leave in July and all the nighttime teams will leave in August. So 100% of these teams will be gone on those months. But half, like the night team or the day team will always be there when the other ones aren't. I like that. I do like that. I think that'll work. So there's always part of the team around, at least these ones. Marketing is obviously only one team. So that's why they've got a bigger range of months. So there's always some of them around. Service will do the same as well. So that's one month for the day, one month for the night team. So everyone is gone in one month, but half the team is still there. Well, the other team is still there, except for marketing because there's only one team. Right. I think that'll work. Speaking of, um, well, I wasn't speaking of anything actually. Um, we were. Oh, Photo Studio 3 doesn't mean Tibet. What? Did we, we sold more than, because I'm printing 25,000 a month. I didn't think we'd sell more than 25,000 a month. Why are people buying it? We have two in stock. Uh, maybe I should have checked how much we were selling. <laughs> I think I did the same thing last time, didn't I? Like I checked, it was 75,000. So I printed, uh, okay, yep, that's my bad. Yeah, yeah, that, that's my bad. Sorry, guys. I'll say 85,000 then, so it's a little bit more than what we were selling. Some of my electronics are affected by the heat. Oh, is this room too hot? I just assumed it came with cooling. 28 degrees. I mean, it's not that hot, but let's get some big uh, server fans in here. I don't know how many we need. Actually, I, get, I think we can check if I go uh, layer, and then I go to just perfect, too cold, too hot. So it's a little colder now, which is good. That's what we want for the server room anyway. 12 degrees, great, let's go with that. <laughs> oh yeah, that's what I was gonna check. I was I was saying speaking of, even though we weren't speaking of it, I wanted to see how much we're getting in the interest now. 365,000, but we are spending 1.8 to 1.9 million regularly. And then in the bonus month of December, it's like <laughs> twice that amount, but yeah, that's pretty good. Although maintenance wise, my bills, what is going on there? Oh, printing, it's because we're printing the, the consoles. Yeah, the consoles, Game station is super expensive to manufacture. How many, how many are we selling a month? Cause I can't imagine it's too much anymore. Unit wise. Oh, whoa. Okay. We're still selling 70,000 a month. Okay. So it's pretty good. Hang on. How much are we producing? How much do we have in stock? We're doing 150,000 a month. We could probably, we could probably reduce that um, to, we'll do 85,000 as well because we're selling about 70,000 a month. I mean, maybe that's cutting it fine. No, that's the wrong thing. I want the game station. Maybe that's cutting it a little fine. 72,000, but I mean, I don't think it's gonna start going up, you know? So that should be enough. So hopefully we can save a bit of money there. Right, so my core team, which is down here, they are still working away on eVaccine X, which is gonna be a good one. It's got networking, it's pretty exciting. And then the game devs team, which is over here, is working on Tiny Tim the Adventure Game, which is going to be exclusive for Game Station, which by the time it comes out, it's probably going to be a little late, but we can port it to Game Station 2, so it'll be fine. Uh, and then we've got the console OS team, which is working on Game Station 2. And then my 2D team, which I guess we should probably rename them because they're not really just doing 2D stuff anymore. 2D editor team is working on the Object Studio, which is our 3D editor. They're still in the design phase, so there's that. Also, I think I need to color my console OS team, right? But that's their color there. Yeah, I need to color my room and my chairs. My chairs will be that color, and my room is gonna be that color. Beautiful. Look at everyone working away, isn't that nice? Oh, also, we should maybe look into doing digital distribution, because we don't have a digital distribution platform right now, but we have one heck of a server back here. 140 gigabits of bandwidth. Actually, you know what? It's the year 2000, are there new servers? Yeah, there's this one now. So I could actually upgrade all of these to this server, which goes from one gigabit to five. So we're gonna multiply that by five times. <laughs> well, that's expensive. But let's see, what is this server now? Now the server is 700 gigabits. 
So we should be okay to host, oh my gosh, look at this room. So we should, yeah, we should be okay to host a digital distribution platform. Yes, I wanna open my own one, it's gonna be on live. And my, I'm gonna distribute other companies' products, but my cut, I'm gonna start at 15%. I don't know if anyone's gonna pay 15% to use my platform, but I'm gonna try to do it. So this basically means that other companies can sell their products on my store. So it's kind of like we're opening Steam, you know, or Origin to sell games, or Epic Games Store, that's kind of what we're doing. I'm going to take 15%. I'm going to see if anyone goes for it. They might not. Now, the thing to be concerned about here is if this catches fire and goes down and we have other people using this, they will get angry and leave. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to lease another room that's really far away, like up here maybe. Can I lease this? Can we even get to this room? Oh yeah, the stairs. I don't know. Although they can't get through. Hmm. You know what? I'm going to lease this room. <laughs> Because it has doors here, so they can definitely get to it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to lease that room. It's a little further away, but I'm going to get the same server up here. And then all of these are going to be connected. And this is going to be... Oh, how is it less? Oh, I missed a few just... Oh, because there's that thing there. Okay, well, hang on. Uh, we're missing five, right? So we can probably fit those. There you go. 700 gigabits. So this is going to be the live backup. And then we go to live and go select fallback is going to be that one. So this one goes down or needs... Or the load exceeds the bandwidth capacity, it will go back to this one. Likewise, let's probably get uh, a bunch of sprinklers in here. Because if this goes up in flames, that's also a problem. I really don't know how many sprinklers you need, but I'm just putting a whole bunch in because I feel like having more is better than having less. Also, I'm going to get some security cameras, I guess, because there's a door right there. And I guess we need cooling as well, which I didn't think we needed in these rooms, but I guess we do. I mean, there's a huge hole in the wall there, so not sure how many of these we need, but I'm just going to cover that space and we'll go with that. So hopefully that's fine. Let's have a look. Click on that room. It's six degrees Celsius in that room. Okay, good. And this room is 14. So there you go. We're using 0% of that server right now. <laughs> oh, there you go. 1%. Oh, no, not 1%. I said 1%. 0.12%. It's my digital distribution. Did anyone sign it? I feel like they didn't. I think it tells you if they do. There you go, my market share has gone up to 9%. Ooh, it's July. So that means all of our daytime teams are on vacation today. That's kind of cool. So wait, how many people did we have go on vacation? Let's see. Ah, does it not say? I thought it would say. We had a bunch of people calling it sick. It doesn't say anything about vacation, but all those guys weren't in today. Hey, where's my night team? Oh, uh, wait, maybe it's confusing because... Oh, you know what? I might need to change these months because... So July, they didn't show up, which makes sense. But my night teams go on vacation in August, but they didn't show up because their shift goes over the month. Uh, okay, we have a problem. Everyone's not here this month. This didn't, my plan didn't work, guys. August, we need a change. That needs to actually be September. Because that means they will show up this day and take the, oh no, hang on. Hopefully that doesn't mean they also take tomorrow off. <laughs> I don't know, we'll see. Anyway, so we got July. Oh, everyone's in July and then September. Okay, so the daytime team's back. That makes sense. That's my digital distribution. Wow, we've really plateaued. All right, fine. I'm going to slide my cut down to 10%. I'm not going lower than 10%, though. Someone better sign my deal. So did my night team show up today? Yeah, they did. Okay, because they, they took last month off. All right. Well, well, some of them did. Not everyone, by the looks of it. All right, who signed my deal? No one. I don't think anyone here. Hey, how did my share go down? And I go, I lowered my cut and now my market share is down to 0.09%. Oh, maybe it's because I'm not selling Photo Studio 3 anymore. I think we sold out on that. I'm just going to cancel that marketing. I think we sold as much as we could. So we're getting 12 million on GameStation though, so that's actually quite nice. I wonder how much, how much is that actually selling? 59,000 units. It did actually go up a little bit, which is interesting. We've sold a million units of it. That's pretty good. All right, Tiny Tim is finally ready to be developed. I wonder how long this is going to take, because it took a long time in design. I would like to market it, but I don't know if I... Uh, well, let's do, a, let's do a press build. Oh, wait, no, I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> I meant to click press release. Ugh. Did I just release a press build of 1% code? What have I done? <laughs> oh, wait, no, I didn't release it. We're good. Okay, good, 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 good. <sighs> that was close. I meant to do press release. <laughs> I mean, it's going pretty quick. I reckon we could probably guess when we're going to release it. So let's have a look. So it's October. There's a bunch of games coming out then. Is there an adventure game anywhere? Ah, oh, there's an adventure game there. So we really want to aim for April to beat it out, right? So let's go April then. We're just going to guess that we're going to make April, right? April 2001. How many months is that? Five months to fully code this thing? Sure, let's do it. We're going to go for it somehow. I don't know how we're going to do this. 
I mean, it's going pretty good. It's definitely a risk to shoot for April on this one, though. Oh, did my sales of Game Session go up because I announced this? I mean, it is going up. Game Session's still selling well, somehow. I'm not really sure, but whatever. <laughs> it works for me. Oh, did anyone... Is anyone on my digital distribution? I don't think so. I don't think anyone's into it. My market share is at 0.09%. I guess because we're not really selling anything on it, like we're obviously not distributing this digitally because it's hardware, so. Now, I kind of want to take my core team and maybe assign them to this as well because I kind of need all hands on deck for this. I'm going to pause the eVaccine X and core day and game dev day. You're in crunch mode. We need this, <laughs> we need this to be done. I don't know that it's really helped that much to crunch them. I'm gonna turn, it, turn off crunch. Crunch mode is also kind of broken. That might make all my employees really upset. So <sighs> the problem with this game is I might have to push it into beta before it's ready. Let's maybe get, I, I, re I feel like I made a big mistake with this. Wait a second. Oh, I never assigned the game devs to it. They're literally the people that are supposed to be working on it. They're not even working on it. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. Oh, I can't wait to see the comments on that one. That's a great one, isn't it? All right, well, we have like 60 people working on this right now, which is not actually a good thing. <laughs> it's not actually a good thing having that many people working on a project. Let me see. I'm going to hang on. I want to review this and see how it's actually coming along. I'm kind of curious to see what uh, a 75% code, what this thing is looking like. I 6.4. It's actually not that bad. The code is actually not bad. It's the art that's actually holding us back, which is only 37%. I guess we just don't have that many artists, do we? All right, console OS team. You're jumping on too. Everybody, put your work down. We're working on Tiny Tim. Tiny Tim needs to get there, okay? Hey, burglars looking to loot my premises. What do they steal? Oh, they got, yeah, see, look, they got some of my servers. I knew it. I knew they would go in here. That's the backup server anyway, so that's actually fine if they steal that. Well, it's not fine, but it's less of a problem. Oh boy, we're going in the red. We're going in the red. Game Station is not selling enough anymore. We need to get Tiny Tim out there. Then Tiny Tim's got to do well. <laughs> All right, let's review this. The art is really not good. We, I don't think we really have any artists. It's 8.1, it's actually not bad. It's supposed to be out in April though, so that's a little concerning that we're in January and it's not finished developing yet. Um, I'm gonna need just everyone to like, kind of just, just real quick jump into crunch mode, please. Okay. All right, so the, the coding is actually done. I'm gonna chuckle the night teams on crunch mode now because they're about to show up. It's literally just art. I don't think we really, the, yeah, the problem is we just don't have good artists, I think. There it goes. There it goes. Look at that, beautiful. Come on. There's probably like one person that can do this. Come on. <laughs> is there literally no one that can, look how many, there's like a few, there's a few people working, but most people are not doing anything. All right, well, they're all going home. I'm gonna release a press build and I'm gonna do another press release for marketing. And we're gonna mark it and make sure we hype it so we don't lose followers. <laughs> We've got the whole company working on Tiny Tim. Cause we, uh, oh no, I've, I've become everything that I hate about game publishers. I'm forcing the devs to get it out in time. I don't think we, we're not gonna get that art done. I'm just gonna have to promote it and go into beta. Let's release a press release. We only have one month to work on bugs. <laughs> well, I'm interested to see what the press build is gonna get reviewed at. We didn't quite finish all the artwork, but it's good enough. There you go, we're getting some followers. Obviously it's our first game, so there's not a huge um, following behind it. But that's okay. Oh, we are making money again, which is nice. All right, so this month is bug fix month. I've still got the entire company working on this, which I know I probably shouldn't, but that's okay. What we'll do after this game is, I think we'll just make another Tiny Tim. Well, actually no, we'll port Tiny Tim to Game Session 2, because by the time that's eventually done developing, we can release it like right away. Actually, I guess we should probably port Tiny Tim to other operating systems as well. Oh, I should probably print this, because it's April now, so we need this to get out there. 150,000. I know this is gonna sell super well. <laughs> I guess we'll just release it. Let's just go. I mean, there's a bunch of bugs in it, but it'll be fine. 100, I'm gonna do 150,000 marketing budget too. We're really gonna push this. Uh, yeah, I should probably order some copies because I forgot to print them earlier, but that's okay. We'll order some copies. That'll go there. Support for Tiny Tim can go up there. Right, so that's fine. That's good. These can all resume. And then my game dev team are gonna port this to other operating systems because we probably should get it on as many as we can. I just wanted the exclusivity on, <laughs> on Game Station, you know? Which, how many have we sold of those now? We've sold 1.3 million units. How many people are actually using them right now, though? That's, that's also the other question. We have... Can, can I open? There we go. Can, can, 
Can I open this? There we go. We have 500,000 active users. Actually pretty good. That's better than when we started developing the game. So we have 500,000 potential uh, customers for the game. So there is a chance that it might actually sell okay. Marketing for Tiny Tim is hitting it off. We're developing eVaccine X now as well, which is nice. Tiny Tim, come on. Come on, Tiny Tim! It's only selling on my thing, so it can't sell that well. Oh, I might not sell at all. Four million, you know what? That's not bad. I'm not upset with that at all. That's pretty good. I think we will make our money back on it. Considering how rushed out that thing was. <laughs> Hang on, so if we go all software, we should have, let's have a look, Tiny Tim here, adventure game. And then May, I'm interested to see how they, they have sparse marketing too. It's cheaper than my game, but it's only mediocre. Mine is outstanding. So we might get away with this one. And we're also porting it to a bunch of other stuff. So we've already completed two. There's another three to go. Oh, Tiny Tim, you beauty. 5.5 million, look at it go, baby. <laughs> Sold 164,000 units of it. That's pretty good. We have nearly made a profit, not quite, maybe next month. And my competition, Pfft, terrible, terrible. But I'm gonna leave this part here. We'll be back next time with more Software Inc. We'll keep develop, we'll, we'll develop Tiny Tim 2, I think, which is gonna be pretty exciting. And we'll have all these other pieces of um, software and our new console in development next time as well. But thanks for watching guys. I'll see you next time and have an awesome day.